Welcome back everybody. We're up here in northwestern Montana on our family vacation. It's been a couple of years since we took an actual family vacation. We're having a blast in Glacier National Park, Lake Kukanusa, and here on the Tobacco River. No intricate plans or recipes, but this morning we're going to make a classic mountain breakfast. Blackstone 28 inch adventure ready griddle up near high. I have some extra virgin olive oil. Diced up some potatoes with the skin on in the house a little bit ago and soaked them in water, just drained them out. We're gonna make home fries. To that I'm gonna add some diced onion. This happens to be a combination of red and white that we had left over jalapeno and green pepper mixed together, so sweet and heat. But I'm gonna wait until the potatoes get a little closer to put those in. I might go in with a little bit of the Cajun seasoning. And then we'll drop all those peppers that we talked about. That's the green bell pepper mixture with the jalapeno. One type of meat that I don't see getting much love on Blackstone videos is ham steaks. And about once a year or so, I think to myself, why aren't we cooking more ham steaks? Oh baby, check out these ham steaks. Mm. Ham steak on the griddle, friends. In fact, I had somebody send me a message last year. This is kind of funny, you might laugh, you might cry. And they asked me, they said, hey Todd, I heard that if you cook pork chops or ham steaks on the griddle, it'll ruin your griddle top, is that true? Must have been a bad dream they had. So here we go, I'm just gonna, this is the way I would do it, you know? A little bit of black pepper. We're gonna go simple. So a little bit of black pepper. And then maybe just a touch of salt on top of those ham steaks. And you are gonna see some gorgeous color. Meanwhile, pick these up here in Montana. These are made just down the road in Kalispell. Are you ready for this? Made in Montana, redneck cottage bacon. I mean, that sounds about as cool as anything I'm ever gonna make here on the Blackstone. Uh, I didn't bring a bacon press. I was trying to be very minimal. Are you excited for breakfast? Mm -hmm. I'll turn the temperature down to medium low, low-ish, just to get the uh, edge taken off the top of the griddle, heat-wise. And we'll bring the Blackstone silicone egg rings over here in the middle while that griddle is cooling down a touch. 
got three square, we got three round. Even though they're silicone, folks, you still obviously want to put a little bit of spray in there. Hey, listen, it doesn't need to be Blackstone. If you can't get your hands on Blackstone's non-stick griddle spray, you can use Pam. You can use any kind of spray you want to, so don't feel like you can't do it if you don't own a Blackstone product. Next, we've got some beautiful eggs here. We'll try to crack these up and put them down in our egg rings like that. My beautiful wife, Kim, just came over to join me. She's usually so busy wrangling kids Hi. that she can't be in any video because what you don't see behind the scenes is, you know, we have a big family and we have six kids. And what you don't see is, you know, kids running around, screaming, breaking things and other things off a of camera. And my wife running around like a chicken with her head cut off trying to take care of it. But we managed to get her into this video here. So we have some eggs there. Sometimes I'll use like the Parmesan ranch or something. But today we're just gonna put a little bit of black pepper in there. And maybe just a hint of salt. We're gonna watch these very carefully. We're just waiting for those eggs to start setting up. Meanwhile, come straight over here to that ham that we talked about. So we have the redneck cottage bacon. And here's those beautiful ham steak. That's the best looking one. Yeah, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Put those ham steaks down there like that. We're gonna watch the temperature on those folks. Obviously, we don't want them to get too cold. I can bring them back onto the griddle if I want to. And then meanwhile, check this out. We've got some beautiful Montana baked sourdough bread. I cut it thick. So I've buttered up some absolutely thick slices of Montana sourdough bread. We're gonna go butter side down on these. Something like that. By the way, say hi, Sadie. Hi. hi. Look, you can see our eggs are starting to set. Let's see, we might need a, a knife to, sometimes it gets stuck. There we go, see? Let's come back over here to our hash brown. A hash, I keep calling them hash browns, folks. I'm sorry, they're home fries. I know, I know. I know some people would call that a hash brown. I think these are gonna be cooked perfectly. So our ham steaks are still hot there. I put them back on to get them hot again. We'll pull our home fries while they're looking really good. I think they're cooked perfectly. You want a lot of nice color in there. You don't want them to turn mushy, but you want them to literally be literally be sitting there on that precipice of mushy <laughs> versus crispy. Like literally at the edge. So much about cooking on the griddle top is about cooking to taste and visual sights. It's not like baking, friends. There's no time. I can't tell you, hey, cut these potatoes and put them on your griddle top at precisely 315 degrees with your dial turned right here at seven o'clock for 13.2 minutes. It's not the way it works. But those look perfect. I'm gonna put them down right there. I'm gonna flip that toast. Take a look at that. First things first, let's give it a try. I'm gonna go in there for a little bite. I'm gonna try to go a smaller bite for once of the ham steak. Mmm, well. If you're tired of gelatinous, yucky ham, griddle it, redneck cottage bacon. I mean, come on, look at that, friends. It looks delicious. Sorry, I happen to be looking over at our little Sadie who's over there at the precipice of the cliff, <laughs> playing with her sand bucket, making sure she's okay. So let's go in for a try of the redneck cottage bacon. Mm. Mm. Oh my, that tastes like bacon meets a ham slice. 
because I love to have ketchup. For some reason, growing up, we didn't have a lot of hash browns or home fries. Um, and then when I got to be older and go to restaurants, something as simple as a ketchup bottle on the table kind of blew my mind. I was like, what? I put ketchup on hash browns? It was just rocking my world, and so I just started doing it. On the banks of the beautiful Tobacco River, which happens to be chock full of spawning kokanee salmon. Mm. Snagging season doesn't start for two more weeks, so I'm out of luck because we're taking off today. But make sure you're watching my other show, Let's Give It a Try, on Blackstone social media. That's where all my griddling dreams come true. I travel the country on behalf of Blackstone and show off Blackstone griddles. But here on my channel, I also get to have some fun occasionally as well when I have time. Thanks for watching, and until next time, praise the Lord and pass the Montana breakfast. <laughs>